Hi there everybody, Kevin Carroll here with your PM update looking ahead to Sunday's edition of the Times Leader. Despite the smoke and humidity, a large crowd turned out in Wilkes-Barre this afternoon for the dedication of the new Nathan Gray Memorial Playground at Barney Farms Park. The expanded recreation area is named for the eight-year-old boy who died last year after a six-year battle with a rare form of kidney cancer. I was at the dedication, I will bring you that story. Bill O'Boyle will take a look at how plans are shaping up for a 76-acre development plan that will see retail and residential properties built adjacent to one of the region's busiest commercial corridors. Check out the paper to learn where that's going. The city of Manicook is hosting its annual Big Bang celebration for the Independence Day weekend. Hannah Simerson was there. She'll have that story for you. And in Lifestyles, Mary Therese Beeble takes a look at a handicraft ministry at a 44 church that makes gifts for those in need. All of that and more in Sunday's Times Leader. And remember, folks, if you're not already a Times Leader subscriber, all you have to do is call 829-5000 or visit timesleader.com slash subscribe. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.